the Pedal Pro Fish 3.4 meter pedal kite from Bay Sports. Uh, today we're just going to go through all the features on it and show you how fantastic this new pedal kayak is. It sits right in the middle of our range of kayaks, uh, sitting in at 3.4 meters in total length. Uh, and it's really popular because it strikes the perfect balance between length for good tracking, uh, as well as width for stability, as well as not being too heavy, uh, so that it is still quite manageable for oneself in terms of loading onto the vehicle. So just in terms of where it sits in the range, um, from our 2.5 up to 4.1 meter, it sits in at 3.5 two, three meters up to the end and 3.4 meters, including the rudder system. It's 87 centimeters wide, so good stability, uh, not extremely wide, um, but enough stability that even like a heavier paddler sitting on this will feel stable on the water and not feel like it's too tippy. Uh, so 87 centimeters in width and quite high at 37 centimeters in height. So quite thick walls. Again, that's that sort of trimaran hull shape. Um, so you've got the pontoon style sides, um, as well as deep channels, which we'll show you in a moment, uh, to assist with it tracking in a nice straight line. What we love about this one is it's quite fast to pedal. Um, the length of it allows it to travel in, in a straight line, especially assisted by the rudder system. Um, but its turning circle is also quite sharp, being not super long like they're around the 3.9 meter and plus, they do require quite a large area uh, in terms of turning space. So this one strikes that nice balance um, and one of our favorite kayaks in the whole range. At the very front, you have a grab handle for carrying it around. And you've also got a trapezoidal storage hatch up the front with about uh, 11 liters of storage capacity in there. That's also where you'll find your fishing rod holder which comes included with every Pedal Pro Fish kayak. So these ones will be in the front, along with a rail mounted base to attach your fishing rod holder to your kayak. That's enough for like a small um, five litre dry bag can go in there with a little bungee cord to keep that secure. In the main cockpit area, you've got the EVA foam with the diamond groove pattern. That's for when you can stand up and fish. If you want to stand up and cast in this one, you absolutely can. I was out on this one the other day myself. It felt really nice and stable under the feet, even as it had some boat wash and waves going past. Uh, it rocked a little bit, but these side pontoon walls really made me feel stable in it. Um, and just had, you can have your feet on the padded foam there. So even if it is wet in the cockpit, you've got some nice grip under your foot. It's also very comfortable. So if you want to stand and cast for an hour, it's not going to feel like your feet are getting sore from standing on the hard plastic. You've got the adjustable foot pedals here for the taller paddler. You can have your seat adjusted all the way back. You can fit a paddler up to about six foot four in height maximum. Um, whereas on the very furthest forward position, you can also slide the seat forward and tighten it. It's about a 70 centimetre distance here. So again, a child, a, a small, short person can easily use this. So really good range in the different heights of people. So this kayak will be suitable for also people up to about 140 kilograms in weight. We would recommend a max paddler weight of around 120, 125 for this one. In the middle, we have a circular hatch so this particular hatch has some uh, seals underneath it to give it quite a nice watertight um, seal. So it's got the rubber there, which goes into a little rail around the edge. This is where you want to put your keys or your phone, for example. It's got a removable inner bag, so if you can access the hull. Uh, especially useful if you do want to connect your wiring up to an electric motor and your battery, for example, you can access the hull through here. Just left and right of the seat, there are two flush mounted rod holders here. So you've got two just there and another four just behind your seat, perfect for trawling. They also have covers on them to prevent water filling up the holes. You have the grab handles here on either side uh, if you're transporting, lifting it up onto the roof of your car, as well as carrying it down to the water. They would recommend a kayak trolley to take all the way to the kayak. 
uh, so you don't hurt your back. Um, and then to the left of your seat, you have the rudder control arm. So this is what steers your kayak. So as you're pedaling along, if you want to turn left, turn it left, and you want to go right, go right. Uh, just a bit of advice is you need to have some speed to get the most amount of turning out of your rudder system. So as you are pedaling along, more speed means it will turn sharper. And we find that fluttering the fins is actually more efficient than just big long strokes in terms of when you want to build up speed quickly. As we move further down the kayak, you've got more track rails left and right of the seat. So if you want to have some more fishing rod holders set up here, which are out of your main cockpit and peripheral vision, then you can mount them down here, as well as other brass inserts in the track rails. So you can set up more mounts, uh, your phone holder, or GoPro mount if you're a YouTuber. On the side, you have a bungee cord strap here as well. That's where you can put your paddle through and keep it secure. There is another rectangular hatch located at the back of the kayak here. Um, so if you want to have some more gear stored in there, which is easy to access. Uh, there's also access into the storage here. So you can put in a lot of gear in the hull if you wanted to do an overnight trip, for example. Um, otherwise, you can just pop any other extras you want in there. A little bag which slots in there. The specifications for this open area here on the website product page, um, you may wish to even put your battery in there. So if you do have an electric motor set up to give this one some extra uh, electric power on the water, this will be an ideal spot to set up your battery inside there as well. Included is your top cover, which is the blank, which goes where the pedal drive system is. If you decide to go out for a paddle and not use the pedal drive system, so that just drops in and locks in exactly the same way that the pedal drive system would. In the rear, you've got a quite a shallow storage area, um, but that sits in around 60 centimetres by about 70 centimetres wide with some versatile bungee cord on there, just depending on what gear you want to take out, maybe a fishing crate or an esky. At the rear of the kayak, you have the, another grab handle for carrying it down to the water and back. And at the very rear, you have the kick up rudder system here so all controlled from the rudder system at the left of your seat uh, and we find that this rudder system which is a deep blade rudder system um, works an absolute treat on the water in terms of uh, maneuverability uh, as mentioned before the the turning circle of this is quite impressive for a kayak of this 3.4 meter length so a really simple very effective rudder system makes this kayak a really great kayak to cover some distance, um, tracking well with good stability, um, but not overly massive like the 3.6 and 3.9 meter, which are the larger models in our range. So it's a really sweet spot in terms of um, weight, stability, and speed.